Hello Year One. Today we're starting a new chapter, chapter 19, and it's about mass. And in the picture, we've got a question. It says, which objects are heavy and which are light? So in mass, we're looking at what's heavy and what's light. And on the table, there are a variety of objects and the boy and the girl are putting them onto our weighing scales, a two pan weighing scales. Now, you might not have one of these at home, but you might have some weighing scales or you might just have to have a look and feel how heavy things are in your hands. And on the table are a variety of objects. If we look at these scales here, we've got a pan here and a pan here. How do we know which is heavier and which is lighter? What happens to the scales when it shows heavier? That's right, it's the one that's further down. The more objects in here, or the heavier the mass, the heavier the object pulls the pan down, and that line, can you see, has moved down, so this is heavier, that side is lighter. Right, we're going to have a look at some objects today, and perhaps you can do this at home using different things. We're comparing mass, we're comparing what is heavy and what is light. And in this picture, on the table and around all the objects, we're looking at all the different things. And it says, can you group the objects into heavy and light objects? So we're looking at all these pictures. So we've got a piano, we've got a pin board, we've got a monitor of a keyboard, we've got a chair, We've got a keyboard, we've got a table, and on the table, if you look very closely, the little cubes and sweets and crayons and pencils. So, if you look at all those objects, which is heavy? Which would be hard to lift? If you think about the probably the heaviest would be the piano, that's right. It's very heavy. That would be heavy. And these little objects would be light. Let's see how we've put them into a group here. Perhaps in your house, you could do a, a table like this and think about all the things that are heavy and all the things that are light. So we've got in our heavy side, the monitor, that's heavy. The pin board is heavy. The chair is heavy. The piano is very heavy. And the table is heavy. These are all heavy objects. And then we're looking at these objects here. The cube, little Lincoln cube, a rubber. The keyboard, a sweet and a marble. These are all light objects. So the two important words today are heavy and light. Let's have a look on the next page using our balance scales. See if we can see what it says there. It's got two pictures of scales and we can see here in our pan we've got a little cube and in there we've got a rubber. And if you look very carefully, if you look at this line here, it's not quite straight because the cube is a pulling the pan a little bit further down because the cube is heavier than the rubber. Can you see? Also, this line at the middle, if it was the same, it would be pointing down at that arrow, but it's just moving over that way. That pan is a little bit higher than that one. That's low. If we look, if we put a, a line underneath, you can see the bottom of that pan is lower than the bottom of that pan. So we say the cube is heavier than the rubber, or we can say the l rubber is lighter than the cube. If we look in this picture here, at our two pans, put a little line underneath them both. Can you see they're the same? And this line down the middle is pointing at the arrow. They are the same, so the cube is as heavy as the marble, or the marble is as heavy as the cube. They're the same. Now, 
see if you can have a go at this at home. It does say you need some scales. If you haven't, perhaps you can feel in your hands. Can you guess objects that are heavier and lighter? And then perhaps you could do it like it's on the other page. Have a, a group and write heavy and put the heavy objects in there and a group with light and put all the light up. See if you can find some objects around the house. Obviously you can't pick up very heavy objects, but you could put them in the heavy column anyway. Right, let's have a look at our guided practice. And it's asking us in number one to group each of these following, each of these pictures, each of these items, objects, into heavy and light. So if we had heavy on one side and light, which is which? Let's have a look. Car, heavy or light? Absolutely, it's heavy. A feather, heavy or light? That's right, it's light. An apple? Heavy or light? Yes, it's light. You can hold it in your hand, it's not very heavy. Piece of paper, heavy or light? That's right, it's light. A football, heavy or light? Yes, that's quite light as well. It's not very it's not as heavy as a car, definitely. A television. That's right, that's heavy. It's very hard. If you have Somebody picks up a television, they often need two people to carry it because it's very heavy. A house! Oh my word! I don't think you can pick up a house. But a house, is it heavy or light? Yes, it's heavy. You couldn't pick that up on your own. In fact, you need a crane to pick that up. And what about a whale, a very, very large fish? Heavy or light? That's right, it's heavy. Okay, in this number two of our guided practice, we're going to do some comparing. And we're going to compare two objects together. So it says compare using heavier than or lighter than or as heavy as. That's when they're the same. So let's have a look. In here we've got a watermelon and we've got a bunch of bananas in the pan scales. Which pan is showing heavier? Which one is lower? Do you remember when we had a ruler or a pen or something straight? Which is further down? That's right, and we can see this red line. That's not pointing. So this one is lower, so this is heavier. So we can say the watermelon, that's this, is heavier than the bunch of bananas. You can see from the picture. Let's have a look at here. We've got a pen and a pencil. Let's have a look at our scales, our pans. We put a line underneath them, a straight line. Ooh. That looks the same. We look at our check with our red line. Yes, it's pointing. So they are the same. So we could say the pen is as heavy as the pencil. They are the same. They are as heavy as each other. And C. In here we've got a clock and a book. The clock is in this pan. The book is in this pan. Let's put our little line underneath. Which is the lowest pan? Ooh, this one's lowest and you can see the top of the scale is going down. It's gone down here because that's been pulled down with more weight, more mass. So we say the clock is lighter than the book. That's right because that's higher up and that line is showing as well. Pointing to this side, that is lighter. Well done. Have a go at worksheet one, page 135 and 136.